Hello guys and welcome to another video where we are going to talk again one more time for the last time about the helix and this time in this video we are going to look at two variations of the helix so as you can notice there are no diameter there are no details okay the uh, particulars of the helices have not been written down because they don't matter all right for this video of course if uh, the diameter is 80 millimeters then the helix should be drawn at 80 millimeters if the lead is 100 millimeters then it should be at 100 millimeters and so on and so forth but what i'm talking about in this video is the first helix we are going to draw what i like to call uh, a helix which is like a ribbon kind of okay and i have prepared this ruler okay i have marked a line on this ruler hopefully you can see it from the camera and this is a distance a specified distance which will be the thickness of what i like to call our um, ribbon okay so what i'm talking about to draw this ribbon is this take the dimension that you are given for the ribbon okay and you mark it off behind the actual helix that you have already drawn so from this point i mark off the thickness of the ribbon okay and then i have this point again which is number one okay and from number one i go back the thickness of the ribbon again all right and i do this for all the points on the helix so let's do this very quickly so from this point i take this thickness over here this thickness this thickness as you notice i kept going right out behind the lead okay so you don't stop with the lead but you just keep going out Now all you have to do is draw a second helix behind the first one. It is going to look like it is almost like a shadow or a ghost of the first helix. I close it with a horizontal line, another horizontal line here and one horizontal line over here. Now over here you may notice there's some crossing and if this was indeed a ribbon okay you will not see both of those lines this one and this one you will not see one of those lines and it depends whether it is a right hand helix okay so this is coming forward and then going backwards or a left hand helix so this is going backwards starting off going backwards and then coming forwards so in case it is a right hand helix so this is coming towards the camera okay coming towards the camera and rotating like so then i should rub off this part of the helix and there we have a kind of looks like a ribbon okay now that was the first one now for the second one for the second one it's a little bit different i like to call this it looks like a, a kind of a blade okay a, a helical blade all right and in this second one you may notice that i have a helix a regular helix like i always have okay and i have another circle which is smaller now with this circle and with this with these lines i'm going to draw another helix on top of my first one which is going to be a little smaller okay so now i'm going to match this number but from here from the small circle with the number on the lead okay so i have zero here that is here and i have zero here so i have matched here uh, this point um, on the beginning of the helix now number one i start off from here okay so don't start off from the big circle but start off from the smaller circle and match number one with number one 
Okay, I have drawn the lines in red so that we can distinguish between the lines of the bigger helix and the lines of the smaller helix. And number one with number one, number two with number two, number three, okay, with number three, and so on and so forth. So I keep going, and this time we have to really be careful because we have a lot of lines and it is very easy to make a mistake and skip any of the points. There I have the second helix on top of it and this one when I draw the helix It looks quite different from the from the first one, okay? So this one I like to call it, it's not a technical term, okay? This is not a technical term, but I like to call it a ribbon because it looks like a ribbon. And this one kind of looks like a blade, a helical blade, and it kind of doesn't, but you know, to distinguish between them, we call them ribbon and blade. There are, of course, more variations which you can do. There is the square thread and the um, uh, circular thread helix. You can even make it in other shapes, but we will not get into those. And uh, that is all for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And good luck.